Good morning. The sun's pretty much just coming up here. Um, today we're going to be starting a new project. I'm going to be building a carport here on the side of the shop. Call it a carport. There's not going to be any cars in it. Mostly going to be housing my firewood and stacking lumber and sticks and things for building underneath it as well. To keep it out of the snow and the rain. Um, right now I'm currently cleaning up this area here what I can. I've got some pallets and just a few other items left. I'm going to be running some strings, measuring this out, getting ready to dig some holes. Um, got to do four holes, four foot deep to me code. It's wonderful living in town and out of town. Got to meet code no matter where you live, right? So got to do four of those today. Um, the plan is run some string get it measured out and start digging holes um, you know I hope you stay tuned it's gonna be several videos on this project uh, starting with that and going right up through the framework and doing a tin roof this is uh, something new for me I haven't done a build like this before by myself you know I hope to enlist a little bit of help at some point um, but the plan is to do most of the work myself as much as possible and uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Having a tough time moving this stack. Yeah, I could just restack it. I don't really feel like it. I want to see if I can just lift it up and slide it over. I've got an old shovel handle here. I think if I can just get this end on it, it'll slide right out of the way. Let's see how it works. Now I've got that stack moved, a uh, stack of apple I had cut up a while back. Um, I've got an edge right here. This is the top of the hill. It rounds down this way. Um, all I've really got left to get out of my way is the snowblower. Now I've got the area cleaned up, getting ready to run some string, pound a couple of small posts in the ground, make everything square, figure out where the holes got to go. Here's a few tools I'm going to be using to do this today. Um, I've got my pickaxe, holes tool diggers, uh, I've got a bar for breaking rock, level, string, a couple posts, small sledge hammer, and a square. Uh, First thing I've done is I've put some screws in the side of the shop. That's where I'm going to tie the string off. And we'll stretch it out here for the first corner. We'll work our way, I'll work my way right around. So I never stated the size of this. Um, from the shop out to the post. We're looking at 13 feet. I want to have a one foot overhang on the outside of the four x four posts that I'll be putting in. So right now I'm measuring out about 13 feet off the shop. We'll go down the 20 feet level with the shop and then we'll measure 13 feet off the shop again and put our other stake in. It's probably gonna be some adjustments to figure out where the holes gotta be exactly. Might have to move my stakes a little. Not really a big deal. First thing is just getting that measurement and going from there. So 
So when I stepped back and looked at my stakes in the ground, I realized that the one down here on the far end is off probably six inches. I gotta push it out a little bit further so I can get the end here squared up, remeasure it, run the string again, make sure everything looks pretty square. You can see how unlevel the string is behind me. It's a big gap there. Um, I'm gonna have to put some fill in there, and bring that up so it's level to the rest of it here behind me. Um, what I'm gonna do first though is figure out where the four holes need to be and start digging my first three holes. The dirt I pull from those, I'm gonna throw here and then uh, I'll see how much fill I've got to get after that. So right now, I'm gonna measure out where the holes need to go and start digging those. So I just did my measurements and I figured out where each post has to be. There's gotta be 76 inches from the end to the one here, from here to there, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm um, gonna go ahead, make some circles where the holes need to be with some orange paint and start digging. Got two holes that are four foot deep. This one, first one, the second one. This third one, though, there's a big old rock in there I'm dealing with. And then this fourth one is just about there. Ground's getting uh, shale and rock, so it's a little tough going in there. But that's it for today. Come back and get after it tomorrow morning <clears throat> so I've got my holes all dug I've got the tubes all in place I've already got concrete in the one in the end um, between digging the holes and now I had my local code enforcement come over they had to inspect each hole make sure they were the proper depth make sure everything was spaced out right um, they had to give me the okay before I could start they left a little while ago. I just went ahead and filled the tube, started the next one, and said, oh shoot, I gotta turn this camera on so you guys can stay up with me. Um, basically right now, I'm just gonna be mixing some concrete by hand and filling these tubes. For uh, mixing concrete like I am today, I'm just wearing my RZ mask that I have. Um, I recommend you do too if you're going to be doing a project similar to this. It's not good to be breathing that dust in, not good for your lungs. I, uh, I'll leave a link in the description if uh, you want to see where you can get one for yourself. Hey guys, um, sorry I had to shut the camera off. It just started raining too hard to keep filming. Um, I kept working though. I've got all the tubes filled with concrete, all four of them. Um, it's time to just let them set up. I just brought in another uh, truckload of dirt, filled in next to them to make sure they were all packed in well. Really, it's, uh, it's just been a crappy day been raining on and off all day I'm gonna have to uh, cover these back up later this evening it's supposed to rain all night again and then all day tomorrow so 
hopefully this stuff will set up by the weekend I've got a few days until the weekend comes um, then we got a little bit dry weather I hope you liked that last video if you want to see more hit subscribe I've got a link right here you can follow I've got several other videos up on this page feel free to check those out it's gonna be here and here and down here again you know thank you for watching thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing I appreciate it have a great day we'll see you next time